Good morning, guys. All right. Oh, today is an interesting video for you people who have non-turboed E90s such as myself. Um, as you guys know, we don't have as much power mods to do, and we always want to like when we're out, you know, customizing our cars. Our cars are beautiful once we're finished. It look just gorgeous. But the problem is. When you have a just you know even a 350Z next to you, you're gonna get smoked. It's just how it always is. 350Zs have like 50 or 60 more horsepower than you. So I'm gonna be talking about how you can get at least 70 more horsepower on your car, and um, this will at least let you you know be up to up to a level with a lot of other sports cars in a in a stock zone. At least you'll be able to beat them because this is luxury and sport, but the speed of it is just not up to par yet. Um, I mean, it, it, again, it drives beautifully, but you know, the speed, I'm sure all you guys are like also lacking in speed when it comes to, if you have a 328, 325, 330, if you guys are 335, you guys are blessed. Don't even, you don't need to watch this video unless you're trying to watch it to tell your friend who has a 328 what they can do to, you know, um, improve their speed. So the first one, which is a super obvious one, is an air intake. There's a lot of companies that sell air intakes that can give you from eight to 12 extra horsepower. It's not a lot, it's way more on a turbo, but it's eight to 12 horsepower and it does make a difference when you do these other type of mods. So um, I'll be putting a few air intakes you guys can look at, you guys can buy from cheap to really expensive, but you know, the, the more you pay, the more reliable they're gonna be. Alright guys, so the second one is the intake manifold. Uh, I think this is one of the ones that can give you a lot more power. Uh, it really depends on every single car and whether you have a 330 and whatever you have. It's, it's, it depends on what mods you've already done too. But the intake manifold is one of the biggest mods you can do. I don't know if it's really worth it. I mean on a 335 it'll give you a ton of horsepower. This one will give you a significant amount. Won't be that much but you know again this will get you up to the maybe 310 to 320 horsepower that your stock E90 probably has like two eights, you know. I, I don't know exactly what numbers. I'm not gonna be saying stuff, you know, and it's not 100% true. But uh, yeah, so intake manifolds are a great way to gain horsepower. You can get them, a few of them for like $600. You can get a lot of them for around an upper thousand, a thousand two hundred. Um, really depends on what your budget is and uh, whether it's worth on your E90. I know a lot of people, you, Say just sell your your E90 and get a 335 if you have a 330, 328. But if you put a lot of money money into it like I did, I'm sure it's not that easy to let go of it. Another one, guys, is the BMS. I think it's called the BMS Power Box Tuner. Um, this works on even like, everything here should work on also the 335. But these are also working on non-turboed E90s. So this box um, will give you a good eight to ten extra horsepower. And uh, it's basically tuning everything from your, like tuning the car um, from the computer. It's uh, not really, you know, changing anything in the engine bay. It is a chip. You do plug it in and uh, it gains a little bit of horsepower. Now, I'm not really a big fan of buying these chips because I've heard a lot of people, um, uh, I think it's a bit, I don't know what channel this was, was. He has the exact same subscribers as I do. Uh, he uploaded how he had a BMW. Um, he turned on his uh, his mods on this app and uh, the tunes on his app, and basically from his stock motor gave it a lot more horsepower. But out of nowhere, just blew all his spark plugs because his spark plugs was cheap though. Um, but he's saying he got it fixed and everything's fine. So as long as you don't have cheap parts, and the car should be fine. But I don't like to risk it, especially going through what I'm going through right now. I just want to get the car up and running. But um, yeah. This is a good mod to do to your car if your car is like stock and you didn't mess with anything or if the parts that you bought on your car is uh, you know expensive quality parts. You don't want to go cheap. Now this next one uh, is headers. Headers is honestly a great way to add quality sound to your exhaust. You can even have pops. Um, headers is amazing. It is a lot of money though. I'm lo you're looking at 700 to a grand a yen. Uh, but headers really really add uh, you know that that feel that your car is fast like it's gonna be faster um, you're gonna have this pops it's gonna sound you know uh, it's gonna sound like a you know a good tuners car it's just gonna sound really good um, I had my my friends cousin uh, his name is Aldid 
He has a really, really nice BMW, and it just constantly pops. Sounds so good. It's kind of like my E36, but a lot better than my E36. Um, it just makes really, really good sound, and it gives you pretty good horsepower. And what also attaches to your exhaust, other than your uh, man, your uh, your headers, is you're gonna need a new exhaust. If you get a new exhaust on your cars with the headers, I'm telling you guys, your exhaust is gonna sound amazing. You gotta have full pride in driving your car. Yeah, so um, straight piping your car is not really the best decision you can do in all honesty. Your car will be louder, but it won't sound like, you know, a true, like, if you stripe, straight pipe any car, your car is gonna be louder. I mean, hands down. But unless you have turbos, it's not really gonna sound good. And that's something that's just unfortunate. Um, unless you have, a, what's it called, like, a headers and a full out exhaust, which is the exhaust is what the fifth point is. If you have an exhaust, it makes it sound a whole lot better. It does add horsepower if you get a performance exhaust. And, um, you know, that gives you an extra maybe eight to 10 uh, horsepower as well. So all this added up, um, including that one, that one, uh, mod that you know I can't really tell you how much could give you around 60 to 80 horsepower I'm just saying 70 even uh, depending on what your car is and what you've already done to it uh, again suspension does matters uh, lightweight things in your car do matter but you know that's just how much the gains are gonna be in average so if you guys did enjoy this video or are gonna do one of these mods please let me know which one you're gonna do first in the comments below because I plan on doing some of these to mine so at least I'll make a video on it and show you guys uh, how to do them. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy smash that like button. I love seeing likes it really keeps me going and um, I'll see you in the next one She got me saying yalla baby. I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying yalla baby I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down girl. We know you ain't easy you